Hey, what's up y'all? It's Don and today we are going to do something that's just a little bit out there. That's right. What is that you may ask? Mind control. I know. So I cannot wait to get into this box and check out what NextMind sent us, man. This, this is the NextMind dev kit. And, you know, I've tried a lot of weird and wonderful stuff on the channel over the years, but this is probably going to take the cake. It's, it's a sensor that you put on the back of your head and it literally reads the brainwave patterns from your visual cortex to know when you're looking at specific triggers and then it causes those to become actions in game. So it's literally like I'm thinking about something and it's happening. So I can't wait to get it unboxed and set up and obviously I can't wait to take you guys with me while I do. So let's go. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look inside the box. Uh, you know, and I will say the box is very nice as well. Uh, for a dev kit, this actually already looks kind of retail. So that's really nice when devs get this in their hands that they're gonna get that kind of retail experience. So uh, on the front, you've got the, uh, the nice graphic of the device here on the back, just a little information about how they won the CES 2020 Quality Awards and uh, uh, the contents of the box, which is gonna be the next mine device, a USB-C charger charging cable and a headband to wear it. So um, getting into the box here, we've got the outer sleeve, which comes right off. You've got your standard uh, retail clamshell packaging that we're seeing a lot of the VR headsets and devices come in these days. Uh, we'll go ahead and get it opened up here and uh, see what's in it. So, all right, ooh, I like that. It actually had like a, a vacuum seal. So, ah, there we go. There is the next mind device. So you can see not a large device at all. Um, I will tell you even based on the uh, weight of the box, uh, it's not gonna be a very heavy device. So we can go ahead and take that out here and look at the back and you can see there are all the little combs that are going to make attachment to the back of my skull. Um, and then we've got a couple more things in the box here. Like I said, just a little uh, accessories box, which is going to have a uh, head Band that actually has a, a nice uh, foam to it. Uh, so I was expecting just a little basic strap there um, and then a USB-C cable and a getting started guide. So not really much to unbox with this one, guys. Didn't want to take up a lot of time for that anyway. Let's get to the fun stuff. So let's go ahead and get this thing set up because I am dying to play with it. So in the quick start guide, it tells me to go to next-mind.com slash start, which in essence actually just brings me to the developer tab here of NextMind's homepage. So on the developer tab here, obviously at the top, they're going to encourage you to get involved with the developer community and, and check out the SDK. I do recommend getting involved with their developer communities if you are going to develop for this that way you have people to bounce ideas off of and everybody can help solve each other's problems so um, for our purposes today we are just going to go ahead and get the uh, software downloaded and installed and initiate the sensor here uh, the software is available for Windows or Mac OS X you guys know I'm not a Mac guy so we will be downloading the Windows uh, copy um, also, the Unity SDK. I am a hobbyist developer. I know enough about Unity to be kind of scary. Uh, so I may actually download this SDK and play around with it. Uh, and the nice thing is, is if I choose to do that, they have included some great tutorials that you can watch on how to create the neuro tags and how to get everything set up in your scene. Uh, they've got the documentation. Uh, definitely going to need to take a look at this to make sure we're wearing the device correctly. So you know very cool uh, you got your support your troubleshooting your FAQ just pretty standard stuff here at the bottom of the page but for what we want to do we want to go ahead and download that Windows software so we'll go ahead and get that and uh, thanks to my fiber internet that is super super fast and we will go ahead and get it set up okay so we got it downloaded it's installed and now we are at the next mine manager dashboard so here it looks like we've got the opportunity to set up the sensor which i am now wearing or uh, get the sdk uh we're not going to mess with the sdk for the moment we're, we're just going to get the sensor set up and play with it a little bit so let's go 
Okay, very nice. And here we are. All right, so looks like we can go ahead and uh, set up and calibrate the device. It has been connected. Uh, we can see all of the uh, little electrodes here are making contact with the back of my skull. We've got 81% battery. Um, so yeah, all right, let's go ahead and get it set up. Okay, and we have already turned the device on and it is connected. And there is a short video here. Now, for the sake of this video, I'm not going to uh, go ahead and play that or anything. So let's move on. Check the contacts here. Everything is green. We are good. And now we can start the calibration. So it looks like we're going to be shown three green lines here. Uh, and, and we just want to relax on them and let them form a triangle. So let's see if I can do that. There we go. Okay. Just chilling. Chilling on my triangle. No, uh uh. -uh. All right, there we go. I probably shouldn't have messed with it, but let's see what we get. We got a four. All right. A good calibration score there. Great job. Why not calibrate again later after we do some first runs? So, you know, that you could see I was like focusing in on it. And when I would talk to you guys, it would like kind of lose focus. So you, you definitely have to focus in on uh, uh, kind of thinking about it. So that was pretty cool. All right. So let's go ahead and test here. Um, yep. Okay. And let's activate that one. All right, very cool. And last but not least, let's go over here to the other side and boom. Okay, so that, man, this is like freaking me out. Um, all right, um, all right, so now it looks like we're calibrated. We can go ahead and get into some of the, uh, the, the demos here. So it looks like we've got Neuro TV, uh, we've got Music Composer, and we've got Platformer. Um, we've got Brick Breaker and the Showroom and a pen pad and then more about the SDK. So let's try a couple of these, um, a couple of these apps. So let's do the Neuro TV here. Okay, so we're gonna select our channel. Okay, very cool. So already my mind is racing. I, I mean about the possibilities of what this could bring for for people who are like disabled i mean you know not i'm not even in vr i mean we're, we're just talking about like like what i'm doing here the ability to control a television with my mind um you know and well my sight you know because i mean a, a lot of debate has been going on online you know ever since i posted a couple of teasers of getting this thing you know is it really controlling it with your mind and you know from what i've understand and what i've red it, it is it is taking the the electrical impulses from my visual cortex so so what i am focusing on deeply is triggering this thing to cause a response in the in the game based on these neuro tags so you know i mean if i look at earth here i mean there we go and then we we change the channel so you, you know, I, I mean, call it what you will, I, I call it like freaking freaky mind control. I, I am like changing channels with my mind. It, 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 this is also, blowing me away. There we go. <laughs> Very cool. Okay. 
Let's lay down some backtrack ambience here. That is so wild. Let's throw in some drums. <laughs> oh, that. That is so cool. Okay. So we're selecting multiple things here. Ah, that is just trippy, y'all. So there you have it. I mean, that, that, I just, I literally did all of that without touching a keyboard, without touching a controller, just by looking at the neuro tags and thinking about making the little triangle form. Rise. <laughs> oh, that's neat. Destroy. Ha <laughs> ha. I'm doing that with my mind. Oh, man. Get him. Ha <laughs> ha! Okay, this is cool. <laughs> that is so cool! All right, so that was pretty cool. I gotta say, that was really enjoyable just doing the little 2D demos in the Next Mind Manager. I mean, changing channels and making music and playing 2D little platformer games, but we're a VR channel. We want to see how this is going to perform in a virtual reality headset. So NextMind sent over a little demo they created called Mindvaders. We're going to go ahead and get that set up now and see if we can jump in and destroy aliens with the power of my mind. Okay, got an excellent connection. That's good. Let's do this. Hello. My name Hello. is Noya. I will Sweet. be your nice to meet you, Noya. This training session. I'm Don. People you call me VR Gamer, dude. Your first mission on Planet Victoria. Sweet. This zone is invaded by the Nose Aliens. The Nose Aliens? Point. If you focus on their brain, you can blow it up. <laughs> nice. materialize holograms of Xenos for your training. Okay. It is very important that you avoid moving around and focus as much as possible on their brain to destroy them. Will Let do. Let us begin with a training session. Follow my hollow ground beam. Okay, so here we go. Here's the aliens, and it looks like we got the same flashing neuro tag. So, boom! Yes. Okay. Let's take out your friend here. So obviously, you know, just like it was in the 2D demos, I just kind of look at the flashing neuro tag and concentrate on it and by doing that we cause this gnarly mess of brain to explode here okay <laughs> that is so cool I mean, I'm sorry, this totally makes you feel like you're, you're, you've just become a metahuman and you got, like, beginning superpowers here. Because, like, okay, I'll show you. For anybody who might think, if my controllers were out of camera view, that I'm doing this by touching a button or something, nope, that is not happening. Nice.
Well done. You can check your performance on the panel. Okay, so 75%. Not bad. Whoa. What, what, what's up? No. Nah. You need to run away. Uh, okay, let's do that. Focus on the teleporter to reach an escape pod. Xenos are already on rescue. If they will capture. Wake up! Wake up! Uh, okay. This is Colonel Shepard speaking. Colonel Shepard from Mass Effect. Victoria. The Xenos awesome. captured you during your escape. I'll guide you to the extraction point, where we'll pick you uh, okay. up. Okay. If you're still alive. Uh, let's make sure I'm still alive. Nice. What's going on? Uh -oh. I forgot to turn off the alarm. Well, it's going to be tougher than expected. You must fight back and dodge their energy blasts. All right, I'm working on it. So, oh my God, this is like super cool. I mean, it is literally like I am looking at them and thinking about their brains exploding and their brains are exploding. Ha! Thought you could get me. So you definitely got to maintain focus on the flashing the light. Order is active. You can move on. And normally I don't like teleportation in games. You guys know that, but you know, this is a cool way to do it. Okay. The extraction point is not far away. Perfect. No enemies in sight. You can teleport. Blow up the explosive barrel to hit several aliens at once. Avoid the energy blasts. Move so you don't get hit. One. Teleport to the extraction area. Uh oh. It's the commander. The commander? Not the commander. Okay. Great shot. Use the teleporters to reach the other brains while this one is down. Only two more. To go. <laughs> Commander, you're all mine, der. Come on, finish him. Finish him! <laughs> See you, nice Commander. You did it. That's what I do. Oh, and I got shot at the end? What? Let's move on to the next mission. Okay, so that was just too cool. I'm sorry that I was just blowing up alien brains with my mind, guys. It's like 2021 and I never in a million years thought that we would be at this level of tech, you know, but here we are. I'm strapping on VR headsets and playing VR games with my mind. Now with that final thoughts. So is this a device that I am going to recommend that people buy? Yes and no. I'm going to recommend that you buy it if you are a developer, okay? If you're a consumer, stay away. This is not for you just yet, all right? There's nothing you can do with it other than what you saw in the video here today, sans maybe two more little demos that I didn't show. But if you're a developer and you got your chops in Unity, man, Go grab this, grab the SDK, and start developing for it because I want more experiences like this in VR. That made me feel like I was a freaking superhero, you know? So we got face tracking, we got eye tracking, we got hand tracking, now we got brain tracking. And, and I could totally see this being built into future VR headsets down the road. So anyway, I'm gonna leave links for everything you need in the description as always. But for me, that's gonna do it today, guys. Thank you so much for coming out and checking out the video. And especially if you stayed all the way to the end, I'll see you in the next one. This is Don, signing off.